Let's take a look at diagnostic trouble codes. Each button on the control panel has a special diagnostic or information capability. Let's look at the trouble code button. I call it the money button because it saves you a lot of time. You can check the user manual for trouble codes, but the button is much quicker. Remember, the key must be on and status must show as connected. So, what are trouble codes exactly? Trouble codes are potential fault codes recorded in the software's memory. This happens when any sensor operates outside its pre-established limits. The codes used on models ECV, ECH, and newer are adapted from SAE standard automotive P codes. Most EFI units are equipped with an MIL or malfunction indicator light. If a sensor functions outside of its operating parameter while the engine is running, the light goes on. If the light goes out after a few moments, it means that it recorded an event and now is historic. If the MIL goes on and stays on, the trouble code is identified as current. Both types of codes are stored in the engine's computer memory. Select the trouble code button to display any stored codes. We're looking at code P0230. That's the fuel pump circuit. The code status is current. Click the red question mark in the info column to define this code. Now we see a description of the code. To start the code diagnostics, click the green diagnostic button. This brings up a screen showing the diagnostic procedure. Follow the instructions, click done, and the next instruction will be displayed. The instructions are specific to each trouble code. In this example, my meter shows no voltage, so I select almost zero volts. Clicking this button brings up a screen that shows the test conclusion and proper repair. Click the red X to exit. You'll use the red X whenever you want to exit any screen. If you're not sure where to connect the meter, you can see a picture of the repair area by selecting the eyeball icon next to the connection detail. When I click the eyeball next to the fuel pump connector, you can see the wiring for that area. If there's no image available for the detail, the eyeball will be gray and inactive. Here's another example. Watch what happens when I select the eyeball icon for the ground. After testing is complete, you see the suggested repair. After the repairs are complete, you can remove the stored trouble codes by clicking the Erase button. Depending on the code, different procedures will come up, but the steps will be similar. Next, we'll talk about the Data Display Screen function.